Now at one Bay Area doctor is pointing the finger at antibiotics and the connection to one of the biggest problems plaguing America, childhood obesity. NBC Bay Area's Stephanie Trong takes a look. Elisa Nicholson calls Sophie her miracle baby. Show her you hula pula. <laughs> she was told she would never conceive, but three years ago, A, B, C, D, T. Sophie was born. She has everything that I wanted. So whenever there's an earache, it's immediately off to the doctors for antibiotics. If she needs it, um, I need to give. It, I want to give it to her. He said he loves it. It's the same with catch, and especially little catcher. At the sign of any fever, Tanya Shevitz is on a mission to feed her sons antibiotics. And when he gets a ear, an ear infection, he gets a really high fever immediately. Like he goes to 104, and it's pretty scary. And I'm just not willing to wait it out. Most kids get repeated ear infections, according to the International Journal of Obesity. It's 80 to 90 percent of toddlers up to age three, and antibiotics is the most popular remedy. They've done studies, but Dr. John Moore. Says relying on antibiotics is risky. And they've looked at kids who've gotten uh, repeated antibiotic treatments versus kids who just got the tubes in their ears that just drained them. And the kids who got the antibiotics were the ones who ended up gaining more weight. Morton is the director of bariatric or weight loss surgery at Stanford. He says essentially everyone has good and bad bacteria in the stomach. Introducing too many antibiotics into the body may throw that balance of bacteria out of whack and disrupt the process of digesting food and metabolizing vital nutrients, especially for kids. It's at its most vulnerable point. And at that point in time, even a few courses of antibiotics can upset that balance. And you may not have the bacteria you need to have good, healthy weight. And to see how it works in real life, Morton points to the American food industry. He says it manipulates bacteria levels in animals by feeding them antibiotics. The only thing it does is upset that bacteria level, which allows them to become bigger. That's how you can get bigger cattle, bigger chicken sometimes, bigger uh, pork. Nine-year-old Cash may be the most susceptible. He was born with kidney problems. So he was on antibiotics from the day he was born for three and a half years. And so was Catcher. Shavit says she'll keep a close eye on future studies. But for now, all she and Nicholson can do is listen to their gut to do what's best for their little ones. Follow the mother's intuition. Um, do what you think is best for your child. Next time I see Sing Miss Ray.